When we are rehabbing tendons and ligaments, there are different ways that they need to be rehabbed. Mm -hmm. So when you're in like an acute phase of a tendon injury, we tend to treat them with isometrics. Mm -hmm. So what an isometric is, is a contraction of a muscle when you're in like a fixed position. So it might look like you're not actually moving. So it's like pushing into the floor as hard as you can, but you can't necessarily see me doing a movement. Um, the next phase would be an eccentric. So what's an eccentric? If we are looking at climbing a ladder, mm -hmm. and then you're at the top rung, and then someone pulls you down, yeah, right? It's that breaking down that's the eccentric. So what we're looking at is the breaking. Yeah. The breaking of the muscle, not breaking the fibers, but the breaking of the muscle you're yeah. trying to. So it would be like my lowering phase. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Because we're so used to the up and trying to push up and use the tempo up, but we don't ever have that control down. So if we're looking at using the muscle as a break mm -hmm. to control the movement, that's the eccentric load. Yeah. So when we, uh, training tendons and ligaments, eccentrics are really good for them. Definitely. The other thing we need to think about when we are like training a tendon and a ligament is also its elasticity. So we lose that. Yeah. So when we want to rebuild the fibers, which are collagen fibers, and they can be quite stiff. So what we need to do is we also need to train elasticity. So some things for uh, a movement would be a uh, thing like a tantrum. So you might have seen people in the gym put like bands up on a rig and then they'll like kick really, really fast. And that's going to work on the elasticity. And a lot of times when people are coming back from an injury and they're feeling the pain and they're afraid because of pain inhibition, it's because the elasticity and the tendons haven't been stressed properly to bring them back into that movement. Mm. Yeah, so um, when you're getting back into running, an elasticity movement would be like a pogo jump. Yes.